I feel like an adventure and I feel like teaching English. So let's take an adventure today. I'm gonna hop a train to New York City. Let's see what we see and see what we learn. Okay, so I thought I was leaving all the time in the world, but traffic is pretty much a crawl. And now I'm thinking there is a chance I will miss my train. All the time in the world is just a phrase that means plenty of time. Oh, don't worry about that. We have all the time in the world to get it done. If traffic is just crawling, that means of course it's very slow. You're seeing lots of brake lights, which you don't want to see when you're running late for a train. Will we make it? It's a nail biter. If something is a nail biter, that means it's a situation with a lot of tension causing anxiety. The train is going to leave at its appointed time, whether I'm there or not, and I really want to make it, and I'm not sure if I'm going to. So it's a nail biter. All right, we just cut in. We have eight minutes until the train leaves. Traffic is thick. It is heavy and we're not too close. It's getting down to the wire. We made it and look at this station. Isn't it gorgeous? So I get on the train and one of the best things about Philly is how quickly and easily you can get to New York City. I hopped on and zipped up there in about 75 minutes. Then when you arrive, you're right in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. We made it to New York City. It's cold, but we made it. And how are we starting the adventure? I know this doesn't sound like how most people start their adventure, but I'm thinking about exercise. I'm thinking about trying a drop-in hot yoga class. Haven't done it in eight years but my body is just saying that that would feel good. So let's try. It's one of those days where it's so cold that my eyes are watering. Does this ever happen to you? Chilly. When I used to live in New York City, I did hot yoga all the time, but since I've moved to Philly, I just have not been able to get into a groove with it, you know? Just can't get into a routine. So I'm excited to do it after so many years. Okay, we made it to the building. We're looking for the third floor. I decided to take the stairs rather than the elevator. Third is sort of a tricky word, isn't it? Er, duh. This hallway looks like it's not actually supposed to be used. Maybe I should have taken the elevator. I got in there, paid, grabbed my water and mat, and did the class. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'll grab that. That's okay. I was taking my time. class for me. Oh, okay, I will. Thank you. Yeah, I did it. I'm glad it was 60 instead of 90. My ankle was popping like crazy. But it felt good. If you follow me on social media, then you may have known that back in August, I severed a ligament in my ankle and I'm still doing physical therapy for that. It really took me out. And I've noticed that as I do things like going up on my toes, things that strain my ankle, that it's making a popping noise quite often. To be honest, I'm actually shocked I made it through the 60 minute class. On such a cold day, the hot yoga felt good, but not being that sweaty. So I did take a quick shower before I got on with my day. <laughs> Have a good one. You Thank you. Have a good one. This is something you can say when you're leaving somebody. It's like saying, "Have a good day." If someone says this to you, you can say, "You too." I just realized that it's 2 p.m. and I haven't had lunch yet. I haven't had breakfast yet and I did hot yoga, but I don't want to ruin my dinner. So I need something to tide myself over. Naturally, I'm going to go with hot chocolate. My favorite place to get hot chocolate right now in New York City is Italy. If you have a place you like better, let me know in the comments because I love hot chocolate. 
Now, I noticed when I ordered my hot chocolate and croissant and they gave it to me, I said, thank you, have a good one. So apparently that is my phrase I use. Thank you. No, that's all right. Thank you, have a good one. All right. I always like to try a good plain croissant. It's not as good as the one at my hometown coffee shop. That's good. I don't have to come to New York every day for a croissant. That hot chocolate though is bomb. So good. After my snack, I still had a little bit of time to kill before meeting my friends, so I decided to go to a camera store to buy a few things I needed for my camera. Hi, I've lost my little wrist cord that goes in there. Do you guys sell those as an accessory? Wait, I think I found it. Do you need a little Yeah, that. Okay, little yeah, thing yeah, is no. little. Okay, thank you, you so much. Just this time, guys. Oh no, th this whole thing is no. perfect. Okay. Awesome, thank you. Where do I check out? Thank you. You just go downstairs. Okay. Go down. Thank you so much. B and H had everything I need. Absolutely incredible. In and out in ten minutes. The best part of my day just happened. It's when I got to meet up with my friends. This is Renee. Hi. Renee. So great to have you in the city. Oh, it's the best. So good to be here. It's cold, but it's clear. It's Christmas time. There are lights everywhere. I love it. Renee, how was your day? It was pretty great. I had a few meetings. I went to lunch, had a working meeting. We don't have offices, individual offices. So I sat different places on the couch. Ooh. Yeah. In moved the around. Room, depending on the type of work that I had to do. Nice. Sounds yeah. like a good day. And now the best part of my day is seeing my friend yes. in this amazing city. Yeah, it's great. Have you ever thought it's awkward to walk with your arms straight out? This is this part is not going in the video. I have thought that it's awkward. I've been trying to make it the least amount of awkward as possible. Wait, I need to take a photo of you taking this. <laughs> See if you can get us in the viewfinder. Okay. He wanted knit mittens and I found some. They are so cute. How fabulous are those? So I had to get some for Stoney. All right. Is there tax on top of that? No. Okay. Okay, 10, 20. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. My kids will be very happy. <laughs> you stay warm. Thank you too. Success. Damn, today has been the most fruitful day. The most fruitful day. All right. Times Square, baby. If you have a fruitful day, you were productive. You got a lot of stuff done. Then we met up with my friend Annie and had a very energetic hug. If something hits just right, that means it's perfect. Yeah, it is hitting just right. That is hitting just right. Then we met up with two more dear friends and the five of us had an absolutely fantastic dinner. These four friends and a few others have all been in my videos before, like this one from quite a while ago, 10 years actually where we talk about places and idioms. There was a situation which was not ideal. It was a bump in the road. It bump, was in the, really... bump in the road. Now that, that's also an idiom. Could you explain that? I went to Florida. The other idiom you came up with was hot seat. Yes, it was. Can you make up a sentence with hot seat? <sighs> Man, I hate being in the hot seat when <laughs> topic turns to something I am not quite comfortable answering. Bye everybody. Bye. Oh yeah. Oh, well, bye. 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 
had so much fun on this day trip to New York City and part of what made it so fun was making this vlog for you, thinking about how to teach English and share this day with you. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on because I absolutely love being your English teacher. Check out this video to keep your learning going. That's it. And thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Thank you.